Hey guys, it's Bang for About PC Gamer here. So I've put together a small comparison between my processor memory versus stock and overclocked. I wanted to see if there was a difference in performance, a noticeable one at a resolution of 3440 by 1440. Now I've gone ahead and run my CPU and memory at stock. So the 5960X has a base clock of 3 GHz and a boost of 3.5, whereas my memory has an XMP of 2666 MHz and a stock frequency of 2133 so I want to see if there is a point of diminishing returns while overclocking so I can kind of fine tune my CPU rather than pushing it too hard and I've actually found some interesting results so I'll let you know about that at the end but as you can see there is a noticeable difference in performance going from stock to overclock just to bear in mind um, both um, graphics cards are clocked the same on both tests so that's definitely not a factor in the difference in performance and that stock I get a a performance of 117.61 frames per second and with the overclock I get 125.44 frames per second so that is a, a noticeable difference between the two uh, settings so it does show that there is a benefit to overclocking but there's also a point where you don't need to really push any further as well so moving on to the division now again playing at 3440 by 1440 I do apologize for the black bars this game does actually support 21 by 9 but for some reason the demo sequence doesn't seem to take that into consideration as well so anyway I am using the ultra preset but I have added the object detail to 100% I've also increased the reflection detail to um, ultra as well so those are the only changes I've made now um, this game doesn't show a massive increase in performance uh, like the Rise of the Tomb Raider did. Um, at stock I was able to achieve 105, uh, sorry 102.5 frames per second at stock while the system being overclocked I was able to achieve 105.6 frames per second so just about 3 frames per second increase nothing really to shout about but again um, an, an increase nonetheless anyway um, when it comes to overclocking your system it's not necessarily gaming is obviously the, the be old and end old if you're someone that does a lot of video editing rendering or just high uh, CPU intensive tasks then um, you may find um, a greater benefit for overclocking I'm about to demonstrate this with uh, video rendering with this actual software as well so I'll just put a uh, two clips side by side rendering them both at 5k and showing you the difference it takes to complete the sequence now on to the video rendering test and this is when you're probably going to see the most benefit from overclocking your CPU and I'm going to be using Cyberlink PowerDirector 15 this is the latest version of the software, one of my favorite video editing softwares. So I put together a project um, I did a bit earlier and um, just explain what I'm doing here. So basically this is a video I did the other day of American um, Truck Simulator. So this is um, being cut down to about five minutes and I'm gonna render it at 4K. I'll just quickly go and show you the settings now. So my settings would be um, 3840 by 2160, 256-bit audio rate, 60 frames per second, and that's the, the bit rate I'm using. Around about 800,000, whatever that is. So um, what I'm going to be doing is rendering um, this scene at stock and overclock. I'll be putting this timer up um, in the corner of each um, rendering um, segment, so you can see just exactly how long it took to complete because I will be speeding this up obviously for the interest of time now the fastest CPU will complete the job in less time and um, you'll see just how much of a difference it takes between the two CPUs so I'm gonna let both timers start and I'll start both tests at five um, seconds past just to kind of give myself an accurate starting point
so guys as you can see this is when you get a real benefit to overclocking your CPU especially if you're into highly thready applications like rendering and compression work and even video editing like myself so um, the overclock CPU was able to complete the 5 minute 5k rendering in 7 minute 51 second while as you can see the stock CPU is still going now for the interest of time I want to speed it up towards the end and as you can see the test does complete in 9 minute 56 seconds so that's almost 2 minutes you're going to save for every 5 minutes you render at 4k so um, that is actually worth doing but as I did say earlier there is a point of diminishing returns when it comes to overclocking your CPU and I think I have actually found mine so I want to share, share with you my results with my CPU at 4.3 GHz so starting off with Tomb Raider with my CPU at 4.3 GHz I was actually able to score in the benchmark 125.90 um, average frames per second while as at 4.5 GHz I scored 125.44 so with a reduction of 0.2 GHz um, it was actually a little bit faster which is kind of funny uh, moving on to the division I scored 105 0.4 frames per second on average while as at 4.5 gigahertz I scored 105.6 so 0.2 frames per second down for 0.2 gigahertz down so that's not looking bad at the moment finally in dirt rally I scored 147 frames per second on average while at 4.5 gigahertz I scored exactly the same of 147 frames per second so it just goes to show that um, you don't necessarily have to push your CPU to the limit to achieve the results you want um, so that's where I'm going to leave my CPU at I've actually been able to reduce my voltage a significant amount to run my CPU at um, 4.5 gigahertz I do need to use 1.3.35 volts while at uh, 4.3 gigahertz I can use 1.85 so a massive difference in voltage as you can see so what I'm going to do now is just um, give a quick shout out to my uh, first contributors to my Patreon and that's a big shout out to Patrick Riley, Swizzer97 and Fatbody you guys are the first to uh, support me and my channel and the work I do so um, it's greatly appreciated I'd like to thank you for that anyone else that wants to help and likes the work that I do you're very welcome to do so and there is a link in the description and on my channel so that's pretty much it from me guys hopefully you've enjoyed the video and as always thanks for watching too young to give a fuck All we know is that for now I said what's up, what's up